T for K to Major Shob Papa T for K to Major Shob Take your alpha brain and put your dumb hat on T for K to Major Shob Check the friars' fires on Check the chicken and may Chang's love be with you This is T for K to Major Shob your stand-up is so shit And the papers want to know What are we doing here? Now it's time to read the comments If, if you, you dare! dare. <laughs> this is Major Shab to T Fat K I'm slipping on my words and I'm speaking in the most peculiar way And almost all of my jokes are about Not being, being gay, gay. <laughs> Woo, one take It's time for my favorite time of the week When you get to hear Papa try to speak Will he surprise us today? You better act gay or watch 10 minutes of show All right, welcome back to 10 minutes of shab um that took us just one take yes just obviously it was not. one take it took us a very long time to do it so if you didn't like it that would be pretty sad we'll um, stop doing the songs <laughs> yeah, we'll stop doing or like we learn how to play the gerardo learn how to play the piano for that <laughs> yeah but um uh, i'm dressed up like a leprechaun because i had a work office party at some for halloween at some point we will do bgl but you got it for the 10 minutes of shop it's got to get to twenty thousand views yeah I'll dress up like bgl uh, but anyways, that's not why you're here. You're here for 10 minutes of shop. Boom. So uh, this first one's Start called... Start the timer. Yeah, the, everyone knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they caught on to the... You're acting... like They act like you don't start the timer. Yeah. Uh, somebody said the fake timer thing is like their favorite part. <laughs> and it's hilarious because I just botched it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Classic. So this one's called Bapa Claims People Accuse Him of Having Others Write Jokes for... For him, like Chris Rock possibly, then compares himself to LeBron and Tom Brady. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. I'm crazy. You're like, that's not real. That that can't be real. That was so impressive. That can't be real. You're actually helping Jake Paul in this. That's all you're doing. You're just feeding into his narrative. When you say that, that's that's a compliment. That's such a compliment. It's the same thing. I've had people go, Shab doesn't write his jokes. There's no way. They come to the show, <laughs> and then Martoni, yeah, this guy, you know, thinks you have someone writing your jokes. I'm like, damn, that's a compliment, dude. They think, I, what do they think? Chris Rock's writing them? Who's writing them? I'm like, oh, man, that's dope. I'm never like, what? Positive. That's ridiculous. No, dude, hell. I'm confident nobody thinks Chris Rock is yeah, writing yeah. Brendan Schaub's material. Yeah. Oh, really, oh, dude? Yeah. That's an early, oh, really, dude. <laughs> that's no, really, dude, with an exclamation point. Chris Rock? <laughs> Why would you pick him? <laughs> you should do the or really do like a leprechaun. It's offensive. That's wor That's the worst thing that's happened to Chris Rock since the slap. That's the worst than the slap <laughs> to be accused. I'd rather Will Smith punch me. All right. Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah. You think somebody else is doing that? That's dope, dude. It is not a compliment. That's great. <laughs> I mean, it's a good show. It was no. so good. You think somebody else is writing it. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. This is great. This is fantastic. Oh so with Jake, same thing. <laughs> he says it so many exact times. Same thing. Exact same thing. Same thing with Tom Brady, right? Exactly. Dude, he's whatever he is, 44. Dude, there's no way he's that good. Yeah, he, He's on steroids, right? We always want to cut the legs from under Wait people. a minute. He's saying there's no way I'm that good? He has compared himself so far to Jake Paul, Tom Brady, and Chris Rock. Like, it got progressive, or it got progressively, like, <laughs> more, kinda, yeah, more better. athletic. <laughs> more, like, because nobody really wants to be Jake Paul, probably. Yeah. I'm sure he'd love to have his money, but. So, Jake Paul, and then. Then Chris Rock, who's one of the greatest stand-ups of all time. And then Tom Brady, who's legitimately the best quarterback to ever live. <laughs> so what, what's the last one? Does he do I, Didn't they say LeBron? Let's see if he does all LeBron. Right, let's see what, what does he say about people? Because we could never comprehend that you, somebody could achieve these accomplishments. Oh, my God. Tom, Tom Brady, dude, he's on so much shit. LeBron, dude, so much shit. Okay. Okay. Just makes, just makes you feel better about yourself. What? <laughs> <laughs> the reason that if Shab is watching this, the reason that people say that is because, um, and I want to try to say this in a way that's not super mean, but it's because you're so bad 
at stand up that if you have a joke that even has like a is written in a way that has like a punchline, people assume that someone else has written it. Yeah. Because they've seen things like the Magic Johnson thing. Like nobody would accuse you of of writing th- of not writing that. Like <laughs> that has Shaw written all over it. You know? <laughs> I need magic jokes and jokes seven times a week. <laughs> <laughs> I try to force that one in there. <laughs> I just love that. The tater tots thing has been stuck in my head. So I've been doing it nonstop with Gerardo where I'm like, I need tater tots seven times a week. <laughs> oh, really, dude? This one's called the stop painting narrative, Bapa. Dana is going to call you a dummy. I really, before you put, I want to know what, where does Shab think juice came from? <laughs> I, I guess he's talking about like um, Egypt, maybe when there were slaves in Egypt. Oh yeah. Well, does he elaborate more? Do you think? Well, you know, he know. watches George Carlton and Dave Chappelle. <laughs> so Dave Chappelle has that one joke about uh, going one uh, toe to toe with the Jewish person uh-huh. and s- seeing who had it, like the oppression Olympics kind of thing. Oh, I don't even remember that, but yeah, maybe he stole it from that. That's quite possible. <laughs> but anyway, Chappelle and George Carlton. So here's the change of the narrative, Bapa. Watch the fight. He goes, definitely won. Agree. Put a heart emoji. Agree. And then since then, Daniel Cormier, he says he's been hearing stuff about Peter Yan. Because, you know, Peter Yan, he lost a split to Al Jermaine. He had the DQ because of the knee. And then now this Sean O'Malley thing. He's saying that he thinks the UFC doesn't have his back, so he might want to do something else. And not oh, you be mean the UFC, UFC doesn't want a Russian champion during these times? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What's the, <laughs> that's what Daniel Cormier says. against Peter Young because he's Russian. Yeah, good chance. Oh, you know? fuck. He's, ru- he's saying Russian. Mm. Yeah. Oh. What did you think he said? I thought he said he doesn't want a Russian champion, but like like rush in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he kind of, it's it's also, look, he just, this is another time where it seems like the Kratom is either wearing off or yeah. coming on. Or kicking in. Or kicking in. Yeah. Because like people explain Kratom, but, and no offense, this, the explanation of Kratom is so boring that I can't, <laughs> I just can't bring myself to read it. I like that you're commenting. I like that yeah. you're engaging and I wish you well, but I'm never going to take it. So when I'm like, what is Kratom? You know, I don't care really. Well, take Kratom out of the conversation. If you see something longer than a sentence, you don't read it. <laughs> you said not that true. before. Not yet. Well, it's like, no, no. If it's like eight, not nine sentences, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I got a job and I can't be like reading it. There's like 300, 400 comments on these yeah. things. So I do, I do read the comments. Okay. I check my social media. <laughs> but, you, uh, you have two jobs, dude. Chang's but, and your job. Yeah. yeah. I got my shift at Chang's I got to yeah. do. You know, I had to cover for Chase Hooper. Respect my guy. <laughs> Sorry you got, you got hit, but you're going to come back even stronger next time. I feel it. I feel it. Got that Chang's blood running through you. All right, let's finish some. Chang's never quits. What are you going to do with that? You can't fight in Russia. Definitely can't fight in Russia. No. Not right now. Mm-mm. What are you going to do with that? You can't face fight your, in face of, no uh, fighting other you than know, war. That division's Russian with what's going on right now. It's going to be tough to market. You think Americans are going to get behind that? Your American audience? Can't advertise in uh, Russia for the most part, I don't think. <laughs> can't advertise Russia for the most part, you think? <laughs> okay. From a business standpoint, I'm I'm a Peter Yon. I'm like, I'm fucking out of here, dude. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if that's true. I haven't heard anyone say that but him. What does him being Russian have to do with anything? Well, he's saying that, let's say Peter Yon becomes the champion. You can't go to Russia to fight because of the war happening. Do they normally go to other countries of the fighters to fight? Yeah, they they do. Like, if there's, there's a Brazilian champion, they'll go to Brazil for him to do a title defense. Really? Yeah. Ah, I don't even know that. Yep. Like UFC uh, does that? Yeah, like, uh, what's his name? Miche, Mi, uh, Stiopic? Sti- or, yeah. Fuck, um, I'm like Shab, dude. Uh, what is that guy's name? Stio. What is that guy's name? Stiopic. Stipe. 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 Stipe Miocic. Stipe Miocic. Fuck. But he's from Cleveland. Yeah, so they'll fight in Cleveland. Yeah. For uh, like a title defense. Cleveland's a little different than Brazil. <laughs> or Russia. Well, Cleveland's Listen, a lot like the Russia. Con- the continent, bro? Or what does he say? <laughs> the state or the country, not the continent or whatever he says. <laughs> so this one's called the Sebastian, Mistal- oh, Sebastian Maniscalco in the hizzy again. Sklob on people who believe... The rumor, the Paul <laughs> fight was rigged. Dude, these titles that Changs makes, yeah. they're like tongue twisters. Yeah. They're trying to make you seem dumb. <laughs> they're great, though. Yes, they're amazing. Uh, here we go. But I also, what I think is funny is, and I've had people say, listen, I was at Starbucks once, and some guy goes, dude, do you, th- you think that's real? I'm like, 
Oh my god, dude. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, let me He talks so fast <laughs> for no reason. It's got to be the ad, like people said the Adderall. That's one thing he doesn't shell. Mm-hmm. You're probably not allowed to promote that or whatever. Yeah. But he's definitely on Adderall, right? Yeah. And he's on Kratom and Alpha Brain and th- Tiger Thick Whiskey. So at different points, you know, it's like he's very uppers fast. Uppers and downers. Uppers and downers. <laughs> there was a guy that messaged us about potentially sponsoring us for his rehab center and like shouting him out whenever Shab does Kratom. Who talks about or looks like he's on Kratom or Tiger Thick, a little bit thick, a little bit thick ski. Yeah. Um, and I would definitely bring it up now if I knew the name but I don't know. So hit me up guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could be a fun bit. We'll just bring it up and help people out anytime. Yep. He seems like it, which would be probably a lot. <laughs> so good sponsorship opportunity. Here you go. Yes. You got a pumpkin spice latte, you know, like if you think it's stage Russell, the same grown man that orders pumpkin spice lattes, right? And so oh boy, man, what? Shab, I, I didn't know that Shab was another one of these people that says grown man. Cause oh. that's a huge thing on the YouTube is like, I can't believe a grown man did this. A grown man does this. I, I responded to one guy. I was like, would you rather shot? Let's make fun of a child. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense. Yeah. A grown man would have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. Why can't a grown man have a pumpkin spice latte shop? <laughs> it's probably because he doesn't want to say that word, those words, <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte. That's a lot of, that's a hard one for shop. <laughs> he goes into Starbucks and he's like, he wants to get a pumpkin spice latte. And he's like, can I get a Guadalajara hard scarf? And they're like, <laughs> what? Oh, really, oh, really dude? dude? I need a Guadalajara hard scuff seven times a week. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, puppy, dude. Um, before we go, let's play one more clip, and then I'll, I'll bring what I was gonna say up. All right, this one's called "Brain Dumb Having a Seizure." <laughs> That's just so mean. <laughs> Brain dumb. <laughs> 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 That's probably the meanest one. <laughs> Brain dump. Oh. That's silly. You talk a lot of shit about MMA fighters, talk shit about the UFC, and you pretend that you want to bring fighters up and you want everyone to get paid better, but you trash everyone every time they fight. Is he really reading mm-hmm. right now? Sure, 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 sure. sure. <laughs> That's silly. This is like what a, happens when a dog would try to read. And a dog was like. <laughs> you know that SNL sketch where they put a helmet on a dog and he's trying to read? <laughs> All right. All right, let's try to see if we can guess what he's saying. Yeah. Ready? Don't laugh. Don't All laugh. Right. All right. You talk all this shit about MMA fighters, talk shit about the UFC, and then you pretend that you want to bring fighters up and you want everyone to get paid better, but you trash everyone every time they fight. Okay, I, I kind of understood that. I think, yeah. He said, you talk all this shit about MMA fighters, but you bring up trash talk them, or you, yeah. I, I got the beginning. That's one of the things where you'd have to, like, listen to it a lot. Like an FBI investigator, they have the helmet. You know, they're like, okay, what did Johnny say to yeah. the guy? He's the wire. Oh, fuck, the wire's not plugged in right. Uh, shit. Yeah. Stop moving around, Jenny. Oh, I remember what I was going to bring up. Um, when I was driving back, I was telling Gerardo that I'm coming from a Halloween work party. And Gerardo sent me a text saying, did you hear about Shab's wife? And I wrote, no. What happened? And he wrote, she dressed up like a hot Cheeto for Halloween. <laughs> pretty good bit i was like there's a chance that, that could be real though like, <laughs> I, know, I thought yeah. you were making a good bit joke but yeah um and you were but uh i thought i was like yeah it could be real i would totally if i were shot i'd be like can you be a hot cheeto so people think like my stupid bits are like not out of bounds all right so this one's called naders will say it's fake short little clip here now the naders Ooh. can be like it's fixed it's not <laughs> real blah 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 but this is a great the naders yeah so he really says to jeez. Ah, maybe his neighbors hate him Wait, I thought he was, like I thought he was trying to say haters. Yeah, but maybe he was starting to say neighbors in the. Oh, because his brain. Yeah, yeah well, he has all those break-ins in his house. Yeah, Love that. Well, how old are you? He's always yeah. drinking out of shoes. Yeah, so I could see it. All right, so for this clip, I I saw this before, uh-huh. uh, like I think last or yeah, yesterday, uh-huh. and um, it's it's called compulsive liar lies about his age, <laughs> and then so I looked it up, and Brendan is thirty nine years old. Okay. But this is a recent podcast. And keep in mind, too, his birthday is not recent whatsoever. Okay. Love that. Well, how old are you? 38. 38. Okay, so you're a little <laughs> bit older than me. So is he lying or is he just forgot? Because, Papa, there's a chance he forgot. <laughs> He's so stupid. It's Fred. I'm 38. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm surprised he didn't have to do the math in his head. 
Brain dumb forgets age. All right, so this one's called Francis Ngannou may need to investigate Tripoli's whereabouts when he did food truck diarrhea. It's Francis Ngannou on this week's food truck diaries. <laughs> and he, we booked him really short notice, so we couldn't get him a food truck. So I went and picked up chicken sandwiches, and we got him out of the trunk of my car. Because I uh, stuck my what dick in his chicken sandwich and then watched him eat it. <laughs> okay. You have to, to check that. You know, I'd love to see fight John Africa, UFC in France. Who the hell is John Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Even Mike Tyson, somebody who's been hit in the head quite a bit. He's homeless like, as fuck. He has home, he, not only is he homeless as fuck, but he's catching Brennan's like mistakes. He's like, what? John Africa. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you keep up with the aerial beef with uh, Brennan Chobb. Very it's, little. But. It's fucking epic, dude. Oh, yeah? So I can cut this part out if it's not good. But okay. this is just an aerial clip. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, mix it up. So this Mix one's, it up, Chin. <laughs> so this one's called uh, P.F. Chang's Supports <laughs> Aerial. <laughs> uh, when I... Uh, when the uh, the broadcast ended, and you know you you take off your headset, you're like, oh, all right, that was a, that was fun. Uh, I'm done. As I'm leaving, there's all these people around the uh, the ring. I saw the great Mike Goldberg there, former uh, UFC play by play man, said hello to him. That was lovely. Kind of weird that I'm the one getting off from the broadcast and he's just standing there. Usually that's him. Anyway, as I walk out, there's still a bunch of fans there, and it was a very young crowd. Uh, as I'm like leaving the gated area around the ring and making a right to go into the back, there was probably a good 30 or so youngish guys there. And all of them were just chanting PF Chanks, PF Chanks. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get me on that video. <laughs> no, I was he just like, it. are you kidding me? 100% I would be doing that. <laughs> yeah. I, I would do that at any age, but I like right now, hundred. Uh, that's like, that would be the most fun part of going to a UFC <laughs> match is chaining PF Chang's. To meet Ariel Hawani and chant PF Chang's. That's so great. I mean, he's got he's got a fan base there of just the Chang's people, and there's so many of them. Um, I oh, I can't talk. I can't talk. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat that orange chicken, B. Yeah. All right. I saw this one a couple of days ago. Okay. It's called the uh, Bapa knows we meet at Chang's. <laughs> Have you, did you see this one yet? No. All right. So check this shit out, dude. What else you got? Come on. You got to come up with something. You guys should all get together. I don't know where you guys meet, whether it's a P.F. Chang's, a Starbucks. I don't know where the hell all these haters, sugars, haters meet. <laughs> <laughs> all these sugars? Uh, what no, is he trying sugar, to say? sugar Shane O'Malley is haters. Oh. So oh. Sugar Shane is a fighter. I know Shane O'Malley. That's the guy with the crazy hair. That yeah. guy that beat Peter. Yeah. Or I don't even know how you say Peter, but Jan. But why does he think that haters, all haters just go to P.F. Chang's? So he thinks that people hate Sean O'Malley and meet up at P.F. Chang's too? There? Yeah, yeah. No, dude. No, no dude. <laughs> oh, really? No, dude? really, dude? <laughs> no, it's just you. Sean O'Malley is not getting hated on at the uh, P.F. Chang or the Chang subreddit as far as I know. And I've been trolling that recently, so I think I would have seen that. He's like, I don't know where you guys, why does, in Starbucks, where does he get these uh, Starbucks? Where does he get these ideas? Why do they come into his head? <laughs> I've been to Starbucks seven times a week. <laughs> Need to get you a P.F. Chang's, Poppy. I've been pretty excited to show you this one, too. Uh, as you can see, I, I rated it Netflix. Um, <clears throat> you know what modern MMA shows are lacking? Detailed breakdowns of widely seen cartoon episodes that came out five years ago. That's what. Mm. Ready? <laughs> if if you watch the Pickle Rick episode and you're not like, holy shit, it's fantastic. Rick and Morty. It's, I mean, dude, the family, because the family's so <laughs> fucked up, the family's going to therapy. In order to get a family therapy, Rick turned himself into a pickle <laughs> to get out of it. And then his, his daughter's like, uh, do, you, do you, you turn yourself into a pickle because you don't want to get a therapy? He's like, no, no, I totally forgot. But then he has a, a needle that is a, it's a syringe hanging above him where he just hits something and it turns back into a human being. And she's like, oh, well, if you forgot, then you probably don't need this. He's like, no, 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 take that. And he's like, God damn it. And then they leave, go to therapy. And he's just sitting there. He's just all. She's going. Yeah, he's all. Okay. <laughs> and he's like trying to roll and rock. And he rolls and rolls into the sun. He's about to die. And it starts raining. This would be a great he goes down bit. the fucking drain, uh, the Classic storm drain. Job. And he gets into like the sewage. And then there's rats there. 
and then he <laughs> kills a rat. He's, he's, he's the smartest person in the universe. And he set, <laughs> turns himself with all the rat uh, bones and muscle. He turns himself into this like badass superhero. What the it's f- it's insane, dude. <laughs> it's so cre- It's so creative and well done. It's the, by far the best. Uh-oh. Even when he tries to say creative, he says kratom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's so creative and well done. That was like, yeah, that was like uh, when you talk to a little kid, like a yeah. little kid tells you a story. And then I went on like this really fun ride, but the ride had like a, there was like a monster on it and, and you just like sit there and you're like, okay, great. Good, good, Brandon. Okay. <laughs> and then I took my shoe out and I poured my whiz- my thick whiskey in it and I drank out of the shoe. Uh, these guys broke into my house and I wasn't there, but then I, then I arrested them with my guns and then my wife was there and- you know, she wasn't like throwing hot Cheetos all over the place. <laughs> all right. So this one's, uh, this is the last one for today. It's called the amount of nicotine pouches he shoves in and tries to speak through is astonishing. There's a code and it's being professional too. But like you <laughs> yeah, know, Shane and I, we just grew up hard knocks. I remember before right. Rothwell fight, which he didn't hit me that hard, but you know, messed me up. And then even no gear a week before I flew to Brazil, we did that mock like fight where we had a crowd there. Shane, yep. Shane's gonna be my sparring partner. Shane oh came in at the lake. He was like nine beers deep. Came in late, and I'm like, "What are you doing? Let's go!" And my coach like, "No, no talking. This is, we want this as real as we can." First round, Shane knocked me out. Week before my fight, I'm out, I, I came to. I'm like, "What the?" And I go, "What are you doing, dude? What the fuck?" And he's like, "I'm so sorry, brother. I'm Listen, sorry." He's just, a, he's just a big a strong dude. What about friend? Anderson Silva? They said, "Got damn." So yeah. he's chewing tobacco. That's what that is. No nicotine pouches. Oh, you put nicotine pouches in your mouth? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. I think you put it on your arm. It's like uh, the lozenges, right? Lozenges? Yeah, whatever they're called. <laughs> Lost ninjas? Fuck. Uh, the sure. Lost ninjas. Okay, shop. <laughs> um, man. So, is, uh, so he smokes or like vapes or some shit? I didn't even no, know No, it's that. just uh, he's sponsored by that nicotine company that <laughs> puts pouches in his mouth. Oh, my God. Yeah. He does need a handler, dude. Dude. I need a handler. Yes, you do. Yeah. You got to stop. You don't just because you sponsor something doesn't mean you need to necessarily use it all the time. Yeah. Or yeah. I mean, nicotine lozenges, you know, that's not good for you. You Don't do that. (laughs) You do that if you smoke to get not smoking and then eventually you stop. Just take nicotine lozenges forever. Good God. (laughs) But yeah, that's all the clips for today. All right. Well, that's all of the clips. Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Um, Hope you enjoyed this episode and we had, Thanks again to Walsh and the World Record Podcast for the last one. That was great. Um, join we, the Discord. Join the Discord. Uh, we we may or may not have Alan Strickland Williams on a 10 minutes of shop thing coming up. Oh. We might have recognized, uh, been on Conan and uh, Comedy Central, so he may do it. I don't know if we can talk him. I don't know if he's homeless yet. Yes. We'll see. We'll, see. we'll find out. But um, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Happy Halloween. Bye.